December 17, 2019. I've been saying all along that Philadelphia's going to get hit with three events back to back to back. And, um, and Jonathan Kleck knows all about it. Let him explain to you how to get there. He's, this is the starting point. I guess that's south and it's east. I-410-41-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-
looking at the big picture from Lincoln Financial Field, a hop, skip, and a jump, connect the, the dots, go up, make a right, go all the way up to William Penn Building, follow the same, follow the same path. The 41, 410, and that'll take you right to 8 pen, 8 pen building. But not only 8 pen building, but right there. Right there at pen building is Suite 800, right at the crossroad. And it happens to be exactly 4.1 miles, 4.1 miles, and 23 minutes, as in a 2-3 bypass. Yeah. You know, they couldn't be putting it more right dead in your face. There's the circle. There's William William Henry there. The 410 access. 4.1 miles away. Access road. Literally, access road. Whoops. A little bit too far there. That's probably a snake coming out, out, out of the water. Access Road. Takes you right to 911 or 611. You can just flip it. You can literally take the 6 and just flip it right side up. And you're there at Broad Street. Broad is the path, wide and broad. Just get your access card there, access road. Everything's accessible. Right there, you're hitting 11th Street. 11th means destruction. Right click. And there's your projection. Just go from there. Where the hell did you go? There it is. And you're at the 50 yard line. So it's 17 minutes without traffic. It's 23 minutes normally and it's damn sure is still 4.1 miles to get there. Old Corpus Christi Road. I got to pause it there because I just noticed this. Me too. 410 <laughs> access. That's L, the almighty God, 410 access. Corpus Christi, the body of Christ. <laughs> you can't even think this stuff up. That's insane. Oh my gosh. That's why he told me to document it. He knew. Corpus Christi, the body of Christ. So I thought they were going to go from the Met building and go up. But now they're going to, they're coming up from that way. They're coming up from the, the link. Click the link below. Sunday, the Sunday game with Eagles. The 7,000 men being slain. Because the rapture is going to be the rumor for, of the day. Because the football players aren't going to be there. But then it's also going to be the rumor that it's a, a, a strike. But then it's also going to be a rumor that the aliens invaded us. No more buying and selling in the marketplace. There's the marriage center right in the dead center. 
The Marriage of the Lamb. Liberty Bell, right over here, a few blocks away. And they're in Devil's Pocket. Apparently that's the Devil's Pocket right in that area. The Skoo Kill River. Skoo Kill Christians. See, it's Christian Street, but it's like Skoo Kill Christians. Carpenter and 26th Street. 2616? The Z and the P. What letter of the alphabet is Z? What letter is P? Well, that's 26 and 16. And just to make sure you, you guys see it, I'm going to, uh, if, if this will populate, I'll show you. So I'll stretch the screen. Okay, Z is 26, P is 16. So we're going we're gonna to go to 26, 16. 26, 16 in the Bible. So what being treated harshly and he's being thrown down. And it, again, so 26, 16, which is ZP, it means down according to dynasties, properly, powerfully bringing down someone, denying him the higher position. What's going on in this picture? He's being powerfully brought down. And he's holding on to those EFP, and he's being denied his higher position as an angel, isn't he? Well, let me show you something I, the Lord showed me today. Wow, that's a damn Tyrannosaurus Rex eating an angel. <laughs> Seven stories. Seven stories. William Penn is seven stories with the coat of arms in Philadelphia. There's a T-Rex right there, but the back of the T-Rex that becomes the head of the sheep, he's also taking a crap, which is the tongue of the sheep, and the tail comes all the way around. Now, again, I don't share everything with you because there's no What's point in it. It would cause too yeah, much controversy. Down, but here's a T-Rex. Now look at the body. See how the body comes around? And so as the body comes around, you can see that the back of the T-Rex comes around. And it is literally crapping out a sheep. I mean, that is just insane. It's like, what the hell? Okay, now. Now that I'm showing you that. Now that you know, look. That is a serpent. You just heard Barack Obama say it. Say it again, Barack is that you know, uh, there's still kind of a reptilian side of our brain. The only thing Clint keeps doing is confirmation where everything is. Because this is right here, 14th, 1400 and Cherry on top, Broad Street. This is, what, this is the alleyway. There's an airplane over there. It's crashed, showing you the second 9-11. And then William Penn is to the left. And and then the Met is to the right. So that's um what is it? It's one point nine miles altogether from the Met to the right to the John F. Kennedy, uh seventeenth and John F. Kennedy. But now he I was wondering why there was a piece of turd on the um on the you know, right there. Like what the hell do you have a piece of crap there for with this paintbrush? And then the the airplane over here with the wings up and then in the middle of the road you have this um this building that well i think click would prefer that this building comes down because it's in the, it's in the middle of the street and you got to go around it you know the, the the building is in the dead center of the street. 
that seven story building that's going to get hit with a tidal wave. And the tail comes all the way around. Now, again, I don't share everything with you because there's no point in it. I'll share it for you. It would cause too much controversy. But here's a T-Rex. Now look at the body. See how the body comes around? And so as the body comes around, you can see that the back of the T-Rex comes around. And it is literally crapping out a sheep. I mean, that is just insane. It's like, what the hell? Okay, now, now that I'm showing you that, now that you know, look, that is a serpent. You just heard Barack Obama say it. Say it again, Barack. These things here just look like the the spearheads of the the images that are gonna, the missile images, like the patent for it. Okay, so here's the eye of the T-Rex. Here's that eyebrow. See, there's the other eyebrow coming down. Now look at the way the leaves are. Those are teeth. Those are freaking teeth. They're not leaves. And then the sheep's on the other side. Now watch. This is, y'all are going to see this. There's the turd. In, a, in another image. You're going to see the exact same thing in something y'all have already seen. I didn't see it till today. And my jaw just. Building. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Okay, so let me, show, let me just show you how this works. So I'll take the T-Rex and the sheep and I'll just put it right on top of Barack right there. So you saw it. Okay, now Missiles. we're going to go to album four, which is in, which so is in uh, Welcome to the World of Good and Evil. I'm sorry. Now, as soon as he said that, you have Barack Obama right there with the 848. Is in, uh, welcome to when you click on that, it says 848, stand, stay still or something, noted I am God, 911. And when that happens, it's time for the replica, the duplicate of Daniel 12. That's what time it is. It's a, it's a duplicate. And then the portrait, he just loves telling you how he had no idea that, uh, you know, t who would draw that portrait. There is just simply one image that is so chocked full of meaning, it is absolutely mind-blowing. An angel, he's got one wing that's a dead sheep, and he's being eaten by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That is the identical agenda as a presidential portrait. <laughs> I bet you do. I know it says I didn't try it, but he said draw it. I didn't draw it. <laughs> I didn't draw it. I just showed you what it was. Yeah, we were all clear. He loves love it. it. Okay. Yesterday we were at the emergency hospital for pets. Yesterday, that's going to be the testimony that you're going to get. The Lord took me over there and he conveyed to me that that little thing I asked y'all to help with yesterday was spot on. Remember how when I was driving down Broadway and I had asked the Lord, hey Lord, did I get the container right? I'd already prayed the night before and I said, Lord, I haven't heard from you whether or not I got all these it's the way. correct in the container. Wide and broad. There's all these people waiting to Access know about road. the injunction. I mean, what, what am I supposed to tell them? Click the link below. And I heard the Lord tell me, go down to the alley tomorrow. Come down to the alley where you got saved. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I love going down there and praying. That's where I got saved. That's where I was born. And so I went down there, and I, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm here, Lord. There's nothing. <laughs> I was like, what's good? Okay, I'm here. I'm like, I'm not buzzing. Nothing's going on. Well, hey, what's going on? Hey, I came down here. You told me to come out. <laughs> I was off. And so, you know, I didn't hear anything. I told the Lord, I, I don't hear your voice. Steven, I don't hear Steven, anything. Right, I don't Steven. know what's going on. You told me to come down here, and I don't even hear your voice. Uh, it's kind of unseating me. I see your piece and of so turd, though. I was a little bit snarky. And I said, all right, fine. Well, I'm going home. It was Sunday morning. So I left the alley. I started driving down Broadway. I was going to get on 281, take the highway home. There was no traffic. It was early Sunday morning. 12, 12, 12, I drove all the way down Broadway, right in front of Incarnate Word. That means That's Incarnate right there. brought to life, like the Word brought to life in front of Incarnate Word College. I'm driving. It looks like a dead bird in the middle of the road. 
And I'm like, what is that, a bird? And I get closer. It's a little book with the pages up in the air. And I hear the Lord say, pick up the book. And I'm like, what? I was literally talking out loud in my car to the Lord going, what do you want me to pick up the book? Whoa, whoa. Why? And then and then I see it in the rearview mirror because I went right over it. And I look at it in the rearview mirror and I hear the Lord say, go get it. And I'm like, well, what if there's nothing in it? I'll freak out. I'll, I'll totally freak out. It'll destroy my faith. And I, and I hear the Lord say, go get it. And I'm like, well, what if it? And then I hear, go get it. And so I was like, Woo. I make a U.E. I go back and I videotaped what was in that book for you. It said, what was uh, the title? Uh, I can't even remember my lines. Like, Pfft. Anyway, so the the little book was a, a Bible track. And I pick it up and it, I was like, Woo. I make a U.E. I go back. And I videotaped what was in that book for you. A Yui is a it circle. Said, a Yui is a circle. Was, uh, the title, uh, I can't remember my life's like. Anyway, so, and I, and I hear the Lord say, go get it. And I'm like, well, what of it? And then I hear, go get it. <laughs> so I was like, woo. I make a Yui, I go back. And I. When you make a Yui and go back. John F. Kennedy is right here. Broad Street's right here. Coming in this way. Coming down. Making a right. So that's Broad Street. There's the Masonic Temple. Make a right right here. Because this building is in the way of the street. Now you gotta go. When you wanna do a, a circle, a U turn, just go up, stay to the left. And continue to go all the way around till you get back to the other end. So as you go around, this is right here is where JFK Boulevard begins. What is that? You can't see the number. Is that a Liberty Bell? Sure looks like it. 99 that way. And then just continue to go up here. Go a few more blocks up. Get yourself to 17th and John F. Kennedy Boulevard. 800 feet from there to there. Uh, well, I mean, clicks. Flex, uh, Cor Corpus Christi exit it is, but Suite 800 is right up the block. Again, access. As they come out of the subway station here, you go up, here's the building with the rounded edge. Chase Bank. 17th and John F. Kennedy Boulevard. So he goes over it once. He runs it over once. But he's going to go back because it's two. There's there's two missiles coming. Videotaped what was in that book for you. It said, what was uh, the title? Uh, I can't even remember my lines. Like, anyway, so the, the little it's book hard was to remember a, your a lines, Bible huh? track. And I pick it up and... In that little book was well, the panels, the same thing as the panels in the shipping container. To confirm, yes, you got it right, Jonathan. It was unbelievable. Then, that was Sunday morning. There were three things in that book. The Judgment Seat of Christ, Romans 6.23. Both those were in the container. And what was the other thing? Uh, there was something else that was in there, too. Anyway, so Monday morning, I went to my P.O. box, and there was the identical book in my P.O. box. Two, three bypass. There's just no way that's possible. And it confirmed everything that was in the One container. day of... And so I was like, oh, wow. Getting rid of and the so, trees. so, you know, I knew I could relax. Another day of what? dirt digging. Yesterday. The same thing the just happened. The week. But on the venue that I'm working on... Jesus Christ right is now, born. Which would suggest that the end is very, very close. That's what it would suggest. The Nike logo is all the Nike uh, swooshes. Making a full circle. 
Um, it should, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, Star of Lucifer. That would be so a circle. there it is, making this full circle. That's right, H full U, circle. Like, wow. Let's I know, right? Let's do H-U, so. If we're, if we're going to do it like, uh. 2616. As he's mentioned, 2616, which is 26th of December to January 16th. As he's mentioning that. The way, uh, according to the strong concordance, let's uh, look up our letters. So H in the alphabet, we'll look up H. And then, okay, H. So what is H? H is 8 and U is 21. So 821. Now, 821. So 821. So 8, when you get to building 8, you finish it off with 8. You're hitting this. Seems like it's getting hit twice. Like you're going around, coming back. But it starts at Lincoln Financial Field and goes up. Gets to 8. The 8, once the, once the Tony 8 has finished with everything. It's time for the 21 days. And the 21 days, as he's mentioned it, starts on the 26th of December because, um, well, that's the 25th evening at 12 midnight, 26th morning when time's up. And then as he's telling you to 821, it's, it's 8 and then it's the 21 days uh, that they're going to play out. Before I go to 821, let me show you, because the score. And he also wants to show you the 450 false prophets right in your face. Scorpions are taking over. The because the scorpions are taking over as he's showing you 450 false prophets. In that little book was, well, the panels, the same thing as the panels in the shipping container. To confirm, yes, you got it right, Jonathan. It was unbelievable. Then, that was Sunday morning. There were three things in that book. The Judgment Seat of Christ, Romans 6.23. Both those were in the container. And what was the other thing? Uh, there was something else that was in there too. Pretty anyway, so in a row. Monday morning I went to my P.O. box and there was the identical book in my P.O. box. There's just no way that's possible. And it confirmed everything that was in the container. And so I was like, oh, wow. And so, you know, I knew I could relax. Well, guess what? That just happened again yesterday. The same thing just happened, but on the venue that I'm working on right now, which would suggest that the end is very, very close. That's what it would suggest. And when I give you the testimony in the next couple of days, you can decide for yourself what you think. It's like, it's mind-boggling. Okay, now, let's get back to this. So you may say, Jonathan, what's with the underground parking lot? Okay, here we go. Uh huh, I think this is it. A watch, there it is. Watches. Okay, see, watch. a watch, watch, like a century. Like a clock yeah, tower. Like a morning watch. Like a watch. In the middle of the watch. Okay, so it's it means to watch. And so to be. On watch. They're putting it right on their damn shoes. It's like open now. There's no hiding it. It gets better. <laughs> Just keep watching. They're like, oh my gosh, I, I watch. So they're putting it on their shoes. They don't care. See, this guy's he's a watch. He's one of them. A two, if you know if you're in the know, A two. They have them in all these different colors. Stay dangerous, a scorpion singer. Down with my demons. There's nine fingers, eleven chain links, nine eleven. I mean, you know, this is done. There, I mean, lurking class. Look, look at this lurking class. It's death coming out of the world because the world's like an egg that's gonna hatch death onto the planet. You know, I think I got about right here, but I need some kind of a confirmation. You know, could you, could you just, in some supernatural way, show me I got it right? Well, when you drive over a pamphlet that's in the middle of the road, and in the pamphlet is everything almost that's in that container, and that's why you were down in the alley praying, because the Lord would tell you to go down there, and it'll confirm that you got the container right, and you go down there in the morning, 
You don't hear anything in the alley. You're just driving home. You drive over a little book in the middle of the road in front of Incarnate Word. Are you kidding me? One hundred percent. And then that little book is no in a container for the most part. That's a crazy and then you go to your post office box and you have the identical little book in your post office box on Monday morning, which means it was there on Sunday. <laughs> so you can't even think this stuff. So anyway, I got the same kind of confirmation on the little project I'm doing right now. And it would highly suggest. 1400 in the middle of the street. I love you. I love all of you. I'm so grateful for all of you. I thank God that He let me minister to you. I thank God that He all over the road. so meaningful after having led such a just nefarious, narcissistic life that He let me give my life away for the good of others. I drive over a pamphlet that's in the middle of the road, and in the pamphlet is everything almost that's in that container. And that's why you were down in the alley praying, because the Lord would told you to go down there, and He'll confirm that you got the container right. And you go down there in the morning, you don't hear anything in the alley, and you're driving home. You drive over a little book in the middle of the road in front of Incarnate Word. Are you kidding me? And the Lord says, go back and get it, and you open it up. And in that little book is everything that was in the container. For the most part, that's crazy. It's just like that. And then you go to your post office box, and you have the identical little book in your post office box on Monday morning, which means it was there on Sunday. <laughs> so you can't even think this stuff. So anyway, I got the same kind of confirmation on the little project I'm doing right now, and it would highly suggest... I love you. I love all of you. I'm so grateful for all of you. I thank God that he let me minister to you. I thank God he made my life so meaningful after having led such a just nefarious, narcissistic life that he let me give my life away for the good of others. And I'm so glad that y'all are the others I get to help. Amen. I love you. Yes. Anyway, so what do you guys think about it's not fine wine and spirits? This must be an old picture. Shut up. This must be an old because it's Chase Bank now. The city of Waco. It's two V's because that's her system, a W. And you turn it upside down and it's 9-11, the angel of the bottomless pit. Plans, what do they do? They turn everything.